Hello everyone and welcome. I hope all of you are staying safe and practicing social distancing. The current COVID-19 health crisis has created an enormous stress on our healthcare system. Every day in the news, we are hearing about shortages of PPE and ventilators. Well, the good news is that the medical industry is coming out with some really creative ideas to solve these problems. And FDA is doing its part by quickly authorizing these ideas to move forward using the emergency use authorization. So in this video, I'm going to talk at a very high level about a recent emergency use authorization of a medical device that I believe will help alleviate the problems we are having with ventilator shortages. This device is called the Cytosorb 300 milliliter device and it's a cartridge contains beads that can absorb cytokines from the blood as part of an external blood, blood filtration circuit. This EUA was granted on April 10, 2020, so it's really quite new. Uh, this product is manufactured by Cytosorbens Corporation, which is a company in New Jersey, and the product is ISO 13485 compliant, and it's CE marked. The scope of the EUA is limited to only ICU admitted COVID-19 patients with imminent respiratory failure. They could have acute lung injury, or they could have acute early respiratory distress syndrome. Uh, any, any of the conditions caused by potentially extreme inflammation because of the immune system response to the virus. So what the product does is that it absorbs the cytokines, which are uh, multiple substances triggered by the immune system in response to this infection. And it's, it causes inflammation. So the idea here is to get rid of these uh, cytokines so the level of inflammation will be low and uh, almost like quenching the fire of the cytokine inflammatory response. It can be used with standard machines in the ICU like the heart-lung machine, or the hemodialysis machine, CRRT or ECMO machines. Now there are risks with this device. It can cause low blood pressure, abnormal heart rhythm, bleeding, clotting, infection, stroke, etc. Uh, and it's limited to only the duration of the COVID-19 public health emergency. Uh, here are a couple of implications. The idea here is to lower the level of cytokines, so there will be lower amount of inflammation. We know that this virus causes enormous inflammation in the lungs, and that's the reason why people have to be intubated and put onto mechanical ventilators. So by reducing these cytokines, uh, there's a good chance that it can reduce the need for using a ventilator. And as we know, there are reports that when patients are put onto ventilators, uh, they actually have a very low likelihood of survival. So this can really help. Another implication is that this company has a very strategic partnership with uh, Fresenius Medical Care, uh, who is a leader in dialysis equipment. Uh, their machines are all over the place, and it's quite likely that this particular cartridge could be used inside their system. If you want to find out more information, there's a link at the bottom of this slide. You can go to the FDA's EUA website. So this is an example of a very quick hit. Uh, it is an existing product. It's already approved, CE marked. Uh, it's not available in the United States. And keep in mind that emergency use authorization doesn't mean that the FDA has cleared or approved this device. It's only for emergency use for that specific purpose during the time frame of this emergency. But it's very good news because now patients have another option and doctors can really help them out. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I will be putting together a lot of these videos about uh, recent changes. A lot is happening and you can stay current with all these developments by subscribing to my channel.